here and it says that we are live and you're joining so i wonder why i can see you right now does it say i'm live oh so you can read the comments yeah she, she sees you but you're sideways you have to flip so i need to flip, flip me flip ah, yes okay flip me flip me okay there we go now am i better there you go better way better ta-da okay I was hoping to give a bigger screen, so I didn't know, but hopefully that's a little bit better. And my husband is here. He can read the comments to me because I cannot see them with the distance this is. Um, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Kara. Uh, in 2010, I invented this little kitchen gadget called the bag holder, and we won a couple awards. And uh, if I say uh and and one more time, but I'm so nervous. So anyways, I invented the bag holder. I made a lot of meals. I was a personal chef and made a lot of meals for families that went in the freezer. I needed an easy way to do like 10 of them at one time so I could add all the ingredients down. Hence the bag holder, I couldn't find anything that fit a gallon bag perfectly so I could utilize all of its space and then pop it back on if I wanted to marinate or pick something up. So I had a mold created here uh, in Florida, in Zephyr Hills, and then I had products made. I have a couple different colors, like this was a blue one. This is a mocha, what I called mocha, and started making them and selling them. Never really took off, I wasn't really invested, I didn't have the confidence in my product or myself, and I just used them for my personal use and gave them away to friends. Sold them on Good Morning America, about 700 units. This is all back in 2011, 2012. Then I kind of gave up on him and thought, this is never gonna work, no one's gonna love it. However, last week we were in the attic and we found 100 units of just the bloom. And I said, maybe this is the time. So that's where I started. Is anybody saying anything? No, just reading. Okay. Yeah. Um, if you're here and you have a question, ask me. If you want to know who makes my shirt, who you want to know about the bag holder, whatever. I'm here. I love talking to people. I don't like staring at myself. So if I kind of look away, it's not because I'm stressed. It's because I'm staring at myself. And so, but anyways, I made the, the bag holder. We found 100 units the other day and decided, you know what? Let's go on TikTok. I watch everybody else do it. So I signed up for a TikTok shop and uh, here we are. So. I'm going to show it to you. If you don't love it, that's okay. Just be kind. You don't need to like my idea. You don't need to buy it. They are $15. They are plastic. I'm going to show you. This is kind of my bag holder kit that I keep perfectly together. If you hear any scratching, barking, yelling, this one of the five dogs we have in the background. So I keep my gallon bags in here. I keep my, this is an amazing kitchen hack. I use a vinyl placemat to cut all my chicken, to cut anything. That way it doesn't hold um, any type of cross contamination. So I always set that down, pop it in here, and I keep scissors because I use scissors almost every time I make something with a bag. Now the concept and the beauty of this is when you're making things, you don't have to set your cups on the ground. You could just set them here or right inside, especially if they're wet or powdering. Just one last step. I I love things neat and clean, and so any way that I could create an easier way with no mess, no stress meals, that's what I did. So this is the bag holder. We're gonna open up our gallon bags and make something. So if you're here, you have a question, or you're mesmerized by my insanity, can you just say hi so that I know that I'm not alone? Or at least I'm not sitting here with Steve. I cannot see any of those comments. They look like Chinese because they're so small. So, can you see anything? No, I see. Someone says I see your sideways, but then you're fine. Okay, good. It says now you're good, so people okay. are watching. All right, so I just popped the bag right here. The bag holder was designed based off of a gallon bag to fit it perfectly. And um, this is our slogan. You can see that it says the bag holder, don't be left holding the bag. And um, that's our company and our little uh, motto. Don't be left holding the bag. So I'm gonna make chicken and corn uh, chicken and corn black bean salsa. You can serve this cold, you can serve it hot, or you could throw it in the freezer for up to 90 days and serve it when you need it. Very simple, I'm terrible at recipes and measuring. The bag holder comes with 
a link to about 300 recipes that kids and adults can use. The purpose of the bag holder is you don't need more bowls. You can do it all using a gallon bag or most of it doing a gallon bag. So let's start. I'm going to, for, oh, I forgot the corn, which is the first thing in this. It's the first thing in the sentence. Um, but we're gonna do a cup of tomatoes. Does not need to be drained. So we're going to, once you get to know me, I don't like touching things. We're gonna put a cup in here. And these we can save because we can make ricotta cheese uh, stuffing and use those later. And of course, if you want it, you can use it if you're a tomato, tomato kind of person. We've got black beans. I did drain them already just to make life easier. And again, I keep everything on this. These are two cups. I'm just showing you how we've created the bag holder to be um, so easy, just like a mixing bowl. Okay, I'm gonna throw that away. Put this over there. We're gonna do two cups of frozen corn. I'm gonna throw those in there. Throw it back in the freezer. Thank you, sir. We are going to, I know this might be boring. I didn't know if I should have everything prepped or if you could just see it actually doing it. So I didn't have much prep. I'm going to take out the center, cut the uh, peppers, dice them, slice them, whatever you want. I'm just gonna chop them up. We're gonna do a half a cup of diced peppers and a half a cup of diced onions. You can buy these mixed too. And again, I'm not a professional chef. I just do it fun on TikTok. And um, you probably have amazing recipes. But the purpose is to show you how you can turn this gallon bag into a bowl using the bag holder. And if you have questions, can you see me? No. Okay. Is anybody asking me questions? Oh, yeah. Nobody has a question. You're just watching me. That's even more awkward, I think. I think I'm a little nervous. So anyway... Um, I have kids in high school, one in college, one headed to college this year. In fact, it's my last one and I'm going to cry. So we won't talk about that right now. This is his last week and uh, quite depressing. So that's about a half of a pepper. We'll do the onion. And uh, just easily peel it. Just like this. And like the least professional unchefed person there is. Uh, my kids were on Shark Tank, and so this actually was, Shark Tank, the first season, reached out to me because I did YouTube videos. And um, it's actually much easier when you're not talking to a group because you don't know what you're thinking right now. And if no one's responding, then I'm even more nervous. Are there clips that hold it? No, no clips. You don't need a clip. The bag is designed perfectly to fold and hold, and then when it's full, we just pit it up. You don't need clips. There are companies, I know they're out there, they started after I came up with this, but ours, you are never going to have a mess, no bags breaking, no clipping, just fold, put it in and fold it, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So we're doing a half a cup of on green onion. Pop this over. Set this down, get these. I'm just going to show you how fast and easy it is with no cleanup and then we are it's already especially if you, i'm going to freeze this but I'm how, gonna, how much are there 15 dollars. and there's a buy now button that i don't know where it is and i'm not sure how you see it but it is there somewhere let me pop this over here okay now we've got a lemon put all of those Boop. done and we're going to do a half a lemon this is, it, sorry about that. Um, it looks like an orange, but it's a Myers lemon. So we're using it today, but you're just gonna squeeze a half a lemon in here, just like that. Done. The other half will go in my water. You can see I'm getting all of this. Some people will just see a trash can or a vase. Probably. They will. I can't do anything about that. Same reason some people use a Keurig pod or they get ground coffee. 
hopefully you can see if you actually do like it. We're gonna do a tablespoon of chili powder. I don't need to measure it because I make this all the time. It's a great item that, um, a great recipe that just can stay in the freezer and if you want some snacks, it's ready for you. All right, we do a half a cup of Italian dressing, any brand we use Zesty. So we're gonna just measure that out in here. Here we go. And our last thing, and this recipe is in um, one of our books that has like 300 recipes. So we're gonna do another quarter cup of cilantro. Get that in here. But you're right, yeah, I can't change anyone's mind. If you have a vase that fits a gallon bag perfectly, fantastic, use it, don't buy this. If you have a coffee can, great, don't use it. I hope I show you enough reasons why this holder can replace all of these bowls because I have people tell me all the time it just takes up more space. This takes up a ton of space. Everything I use is contained right in that bag holder. So I'm gonna show you in just a minute how you're gonna do this because I didn't invent bags. We use Ziploc, it's our primary one. Let me wash my hands. It's our primary one that we love. But um, other gallon bags work too. We just do not encourage you to use the ones with the, the clip on the side because they have a tendency to pop off even when you're mixing. So I'm going to wipe up my little space here because when you get to know me, you'll know that I am very OCD. Everything needs to be in a place. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything. Onion, salt, chili powder. I think I got it. I'm going to take this off. I'm going to take this off of this bag holder. See? If I wanted to put more stuff in here, guess what? Because of this holds the sides, I'm able to utilize the entire space of the bag holder. And I'll show you that. So we've got this yummy recipe. We're going to seal it. Your biggest struggle is making sure that you take the air out of the bag and you seal it. So I don't know how long we've been live sealed. Now I'm gonna use my hands. Kids can do this. Mix, mash, pour, store using the bag. It replaces any bowl in your house. Anything you mix in a bowl, in fact, in a minute, next we're gonna do a cake, and I'm gonna show you how you can make it all using the bag. Now, this recipe is literally finished, and I'm gonna show you. The only thing I need to do is get that little frozen yeah, part. Yeah, different sizes or different size baggies? No, we only use gallon bags. Uh, when we did this, it was the beginning stages. It cost a ton of money for us to make the mold, and it's all mixed. I wanna show you. It is completely mixed up, and I have, no dishes except for the knife and the, um, it's ready to go. Now, if you wanna do kit, do chicken, which I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add, babe, will you get the chicken? Uh, I'm gonna add chicken because you can use this same recipe, recipe add chicken, rice, there's your burrito mix, split it up in another bag. If I wanted to split some of this up, I can easily, in another bag, freeze it, because this is a lot of mixture. I'll show you, pop it on like I did. I'm gonna split this up halfway. Okay. Now will you take that and put it in the freezer? We're gonna save this for later. So that'll be our snack. Pop this back on the bag holder. Just like that. And I've got chicken. So. I can actually put it in the bag and mash it up, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna just chop it up, and this is gonna be our chicken burritos tonight. I'll make some white rice. When it's time, heat it up, and it's good to go. But until then, I'm going to store it in there you go, babe, the bag holder. So take it back out, seal it back up, take out the air. That's the best way to use it, to mix and mash and pour and store and all that. So we've got this, good. I have only had an accident once and that was because I did not seal the bag. It was not the bag's fault or of course the bag holder's fault, but it was just my quick, I'm in a hurry. There you go. Add a little rice, you've got chicken burritos and I've got one in the freezer for later. It'll stay there for 90 days and I've got this one. The beautiful thing too is a lot of people use those Tupperware plastic containers Bags are a lot less space in your fridge. You've got the air out. I can pop it in, put it in. If you want to write the date, it's good to go. All done.
So let's move this stuff quickly. That's dinner tonight. <laughs> that was easy. All right, so let me move this. You want to wash this, Ben? Sure. And we'll put that there. I'm going to make a cake next. And but I have to clean up my space, so I'm sorry. I don't have a commercial break, so you have to watch me clean up my space while we are together. We're going to make some croutons, too. And I'm going to show you how we do our salad, which is going to go with our dinner. And we're going to put fresh croutons on it. And I never know how long to stay live. I'm not really sure. So if no one watches, then I'll just pop off and do it later. And so uh, let's clean up our space. I'm going to use this in my water for real. I have to get everything good before I start again. All right, so let's do this. Bag holder, bag. This is what we're selling. This is what I came up with. Some people are so unkind. So if you happen to be one of those unkind people, please just keep your opinion to yourself. If you have pots and pans and vases and stuff that you can use, then absolutely use them. This is just what I came up with to make my life easier. And, um, oh, it's looking for the cake mix. So we're gonna use a basic cake mix. I'm gonna show you how we do this. Can you get some, um, the, the cupcake holders? Sure. Alrighty, we're going to do this. Again, scissors always stay in the bag holder because I use them constantly. We're going to pop this here. You can do your own mix. If you make an amazing pound cake or cookies, do it in here. No big deal. We're going to pop in our three eggs. I have some really good. Yeah. I have some really good recipes um, that are fun and easy, especially for kids. Go throw this baby away. Boom, done. Okay, and throw the box away because I already know what we're doing. We're gonna do a cup of water, just following the rules, the package, and then a half a cup of oil. I usually use butter, but for ease, I did oil. I use butter because I had breast cancer a long time ago actually when we started to invent this. And um, I'm gonna use this, just half of it though. I'm kind of eye stuff. Uh, but I have breast cancer. And so they say that soy enhances breast cancer, the estrogen. So I kind of stay away from different oils that may have soy in it. And uh, usually use just butter. But we're gonna live on the wild side today. So we've got that, is that it? That was really fast. I feel like I'm missing something, but I guess not. There. So let's take this out. We've got everything inside. Again, our space is cleaned up. I'm going to seal it, take the air out, just like this. If you just want to watch me because you have your own way of doing um, things in a bag, then do that. Just say, hey, I'd love to have people hang out with me. With kids going to school and college, I don't have many friends, so right now you're my only friend. Um, so we're going to mix it up, da -da -da -da, just like that. If you have kids, yeah, there's only one size of bag holder. There is only one size. Sorry. Yeah. If there's questions, yeah, let me, too. if there's any questions, please, please ask me. I am happy to answer. So we're mixing this up just like this. You're going to see how easy your hands work so much better than spoons and mixers. Obviously there's some things, especially bread doughs and that are never going to work in this. They're $15. They are $15. They are made in the USA. They're made right here in Florida, shipped in Florida, and I'll show it to you. So we've got this. It's done. I have no mess here. Um, just think of that when you have all of those bowls like that. This little container and its pack of bags are uh, done in seconds. And actually, this is very therapeutic. So it's been mixed, it's good to go. I'm gonna show you that there is no little chunky spots left. So you can see it is thoroughly mixed, just like you'd have it in a bowl. So I'm going to get my lined cupcake, but watch Just the corners and squeeze it. And That's it, we're gonna do snip the tip. So I'm gonna do it two ways, just so you can see, depending on what you want. So the first way 
is when you do this, you're gonna just basically slide all of the batter down. Do this with waffles, no more mess. Follow me if you like anything that I'm saying, because I'm gonna go live often. Get this corner, one corner, and bring it up. You have made your own piping bag all in here. Now, I will tell you, little secret, I should take more air out. It will make my life more easy. Seal it back up. Oh, that smells so good. So if you do like to lick the batter, you can still do that. You're just gonna lick the batter out of a bowl. So I've got my piping bag just like that. We're gonna snip the tip with those handy scissors that I keep right inside. Now this is where I'm sure the magic of television, if there was an issue, it would easily, if something bad's gonna happen, basically it's gonna happen now. So let's see if I can do this easily without making a mess in my pans. Snip it, not a lot. You're gonna just pour like this halfway. There we go, same thing here, pour halfway. You can see it is mixed and blended perfectly. Halfway, oh baby, you wanna turn the oven on? Sure. 350. Ba -doom -boom. We've got these, I know this is, I wish you could fast forward. There we go. And then we're gonna put the rest in just a nine inch tray, because I'm only making six cupcakes. I like the cake. And you can see me just doing that, how easy. Oops, I think my sleeve is getting in the batter. Thank you. Can you just move the tray? Yeah, that would be awesome. Perfect. There we go. Bring this closer. We are going to just push it all down so we don't waste any bit of it. Look at that. It is all used up. We're going to put that in the oven, too. All right, we're done. We're baked up. Where's the link to order? It's at the bottom left. I Shop. believe it's at a shopping cart at the bottom left. And when you order, you will get a link to 300 recipes that you can do with kids and adults. Very simple. So that cake is done. Again, we primarily use Ziploc bags. I do not recommend Dollar Store because we have never in, since 2010, ever had an explosion except for when I messed up and did not seal it. That's it. So you do, the biggest thing is take the air out and seal it. And now let's make some croutons. So let's clean our little space up. Pop that on here. I'm gonna move my scissors. Babe, you wanna come around and put this stuff up? Sure. Cause we're just gonna keep on making stuff. Y'all are gonna make dinner with me and that cilantro. Okay, so I just have a day old bread. It's Cuban bread. I'm only gonna use 12 inches. This is where size absolutely does not matter. It just depends on how many slices you cut it in. So I'm only gonna use half of this. Do you need the oil again? I do need the oil, I don't this. need that. No, nope. okay. I do need the that stuff over here. Yeah. yeah. So, ooh. next time don't wear like flappy wings. I thought it would be cute and I'd want it to look nice for you. And normally I would have my pajama bottoms under here, but. All right, so we are doing our bread. Basically have to prep our bread. Again, use a vinyl placemat. They make the best cutting boards that do not hold any type of bacteria when you're trying to use um, meats and things like that. So I'm gonna rip that apart. Cut it. And you'll be here when our cakes are done. We'll cut it right in half. This one will go. I'm gonna put that in the, sure. yeah, perfect. Someone said they're gonna order because they like your enthusiasm. Aw, thank you. Y'all, I'm gonna cry. No, for real, like that's so sweet. Just be nice. <laughs> that's so sweet. Well, I'm gonna be here all the time. So when we're doing the croutons, this is a great recipe. My daughter says I shouldn't share it, but you guys probably you have recipes you'll in? share with me. Yeah, share that, throw that and that in. Perfect, thank you. Um, so we're going to cut it in three. So I've got one, and then I'm gonna cut one more. On Use a good bread knife. And again, this is just 12 inches. We're just making enough for today and tomorrow because we snack on it. Can I just leave it on that? Mm, yeah, sure. Uh, so we've got this. We're going to cut it now long ways. Have to use your hands but everything kind of stays on my placemat, or I try to keep it there. And then we'll do one more. So we're cutting it three across, three down, and then we're gonna to start to do the actual croutons. So, and I hope you can kind of see, 
I hope you do see, not kind of see. Can you tell I'm nervous? Like, I don't think I've breathed yet. <laughs> Whew. Um, I hope you see why I absolutely want you to enjoy the bag holder and see the value of it. Because it's not, I mean, it's great for storing leftovers and all this other stuff that you can use it for, but there's so much more to it. It's really about replacing bowls with bags with so much less cleanup. No mess, no stress. Meals and minutes was my motto for years. And that's honestly the truth. So we've got our bread. It's cut threes and threes. Now we're going to cut it in little pieces, less than an inch. So we've got that. We're going to do this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Keep it going. And then I'm going to show you, we're going to get all this easily in the bag holder. I say easily. I hope that I don't, you know, I told Steve, that's my husband. I'm Kara, in case you're not sure. My, my little handle is halfway over because I'm over 50 and I figure my life is clearly halfway over. So I might as well do what I can now instead of uh, waiting and putting it off. So if you're halfway over too, don't wait. If you think it, do it, dream it. Don't let anybody rain on your parade. All right, so let's grab another bag. Got our bag. Pop it in the bag holder, just like this. Again, there is no need, this fits, so these, the bag can never just slip off. It, it doesn't do that. So, and I'm gonna show you by filling some flour, how you can use the entire bag. Or if you make breakfast casseroles and you store them in the nine by 13 pan during the holidays and you have no room in your fridge, I will do a video, not today, but I'll do a video yeah. of where you make it's, it all right It's good. great for marinating too. Oh, marinating. You can pour your, in fact, we're gonna do a pork. That's what we're having for dinner. Um, tomorrow night, we're gonna marinate our pork tonight and I'm gonna show you. And then all you have to do when you're ready to get it out is pop it back on the holder, grab your fork, put it on the grill, or else we're, we're doing we the air fryer. We microwave eggs in it. You can mic we microwave eggs in it. But that's a whole different thing, so yeah. I want to show you. Okay, so what we've got is the bags in here. We are going to gently just bring our bread here, put it right in here so that um, we can get every little bit. And then I'm going to show you a quick little seasoning trick that uh, will make some delicious snack croutons. In fact, they're, we call them, I mean, you can put them on a salad, but they're really snacks. They make yummy snacks. So if you're gluten-free, go get gluten-free bread doing the same thing. There you go. All right. We are going to do, oh, I need one more little thing. Hmm. All right. We're going to do a half a tablespoon. I'm not measuring it because I know what it looks like, but a half a tablespoon of the Italian seasoning. We're going to do half a tablespoon of seasoning salt. Ooh, that was a little more. Oh well, some of it's gonna be salty. And then we're gonna do a half a cup of oil. Wait, that's not the oil. Olive oil, sorry. You can use whatever oil you want. I had this left over. It really does give it a little flavor. It was brought, we had exchange students. And so our exchange students brought us gifts when they come. Yeah. And so I have this and it just reminds me of them. So we're gonna do not quite a half a cup because this is a this is only a half a loaf but we're going to just put it over set it on our little handy uh cutting board seal it up take the air out that's going to be your biggest thing is taking the air out i'm going to do that it's sealed and now let's just mix and mash it you're going to see it's going to coat easily you kind of mix and match don't mash it don't do that because it's bread but you're gonna see how easy it coats this perfectly. I just wanna show you how easy it is coating everything. It's not just staying in one section. Oh, and I need a tray. I'm sorry. sorry I really fun. tried to get everything done. We posted a video this morning and it went um, popular. I guess it's called popular, but, uh, and I don't is know this, if it was popular. Yeah, that's perfect. And then just two pieces of foil. Sure. Yeah. But people paid attention to it. Some were nice, some were not nice. And I was nice to the ones that weren't nice. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer kind of thing. But see, it's done. Literally done. All mixed up. Good. We're going to put these in a tray and we're going to pop them in as soon as the cake 
is done. We don't want to do it with it because it'll have a weird flavor. So let me put this here. I've got a tray and lined it with foil. So. Yeah, someone said add some shredded cheese. Ooh, on the croutons? Yeah. What a good cool. idea. Oh, like Parmesan? That's a great idea. I wonder if we should do that. Should we, put, we try we it? You can put some cheddar on you there. You can really do anything you want. I am not a professional chef. I am just, let's have fun, make meals easy. That's it. So that would be a, oh, you could sprinkle it. Why don't we get the Parmesan? We'll sprinkle it on half and on, on, sure. on the other half. You want to do half? Yeah, let's do half. You, want, you, want you love Parmesan. You want, you want Parmesan? I'm not a big cheese person unless it's like cheese and pepperoni pizza. But he likes cheese, although he had a heart attack. I had cancer. He had a heart attack. It's a wonder we're here even talking to you. I feel great, though. Yeah, we both feel good. Um, and uh, so that's it. So I use my bag to sort it, too. So I don't have any mess. My hands are still clean. Pop it in my trash can. That's it. You can see. Yum, yum, yum. And we're going to try this. Who is, who is her name? That's Steve. He's, he's the voice in the back in the of your head yeah. that you're trying to run from. Let me make sure that this is... I didn't realize that was class. So let's sprinkle it. Ooh, babe, this might actually be a new little favorite. Okay. Boom, done. We've got Parmesan here. We've got just our regular stuff here. And we are going to wait until the cake is done. It's good to go. Now let's clean up this little mess that I've made. Let's get the pork out and the teriyaki sauce. This went faster than I thought. I wonder if I should even stay live. Do you, how long do people stay live? I don't want to bore people. Hey, we can do it all day. No, we can't. We can't do it all day. I wish I could see comments because I really like talking to people. Uh, can you see comments? Yeah. Tell me something. They've got to be asking something. They are not sitting no, there are. in silence. Yeah, but I want to talk to them. They were like, definitely don't let anyone be rude. Aw. You're, you're both so sweet. Aw, thank you. You, our kids don't think so. Hello, will the bag holder hold the zipper gallon bags? That's it. No, yes. no, no. no, 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 no. Uh, it will hold it, but we do not encourage it because sometimes that one brand, they're not made the best and the, the zipper part pops off. So I would love, to, you could certainly make meals with us, but I do not want you to buy those bags for it. Um, I wish that I could. Yeah. Perfect. And then that can go in the fridge or you'll use that. So, okay. And then this can go in the fridge. Look, we are literally cleaning up our space hey, and we've dishes, made all this stuff. How many dishes you got? I don't have any dishes. Oh, I have like three. I have a knife, a yeah. measuring cup, and I'll have the dish that the cake's baked in. But that one won't clean for a couple days because it'll take me a couple days to eat it. All right. So let's talk about the bag holder. Again, it is plastic. It's made here in Florida. It is a nice thick plastic, holds everything, um, so it's very sturdy, it'll yeah. never tip over, yeah. never fall, never clipping stuff, and it holds the inside. So in case your bag does spring a leak doing something dishwasher safe, yeah. dishwasher safe, microwave. it goes in the microwave. In fact, do you want to do that? Do you want to? Okay. I'm just going to show you something. Don't do this at home. All right. Let me throw some water. We had two colors. Right now, we only have the blue. If this takes off. If it's its time, then we probably will go back to two colors. My mom likes the mocha. I like the blue. It matches my house. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you. This is another genius idea, especially if you're camping and don't have a lot of um, space. But I'm going to put this bag. I've put water in here. I'm going to see if you can kind of see where it jiggles. So probably two cups, three cups. There's no set. I'm going to pop this on here. If you hear an explosion, call 911, but no, I'm kidding. All right, so we're gonna do a couple eggs. Ba -dum -boom. I have to make noises because the silence is crushing. There's that. And we are going to pop this in the microwave. So you get an old phone so you can see comments where you're- uh... I know, I need to. Well, I thought it would show up on my computer, but it's not, so, um, okay. So we've got water in here, we've got the bag, and then the eggs. See the eggs sit there. Watch. Well, this will take four minutes, so you won't watch. You want to set that for four minutes? But it is a great way if you need to, if you're making something, you need to heat a little butter instead of making another dirty dish, you're able to heat things, not cook thoroughly, except for the eggs. Um, what is I doing? Oh. Did you need this for me? Well, 
I was gonna make broccoli. Oh, that's good. Too. Broccoli salad, but I don't know. Should I? I don't want to do everything at once. Does anybody have questions or? I don't trust myself not to get shells in it. This one. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it took me a long time, and usually, or many times, I still crack shells in it. But I actually had a contest with my kids when they were little because I was like. Ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom. That's what I love is because you can crack. You're using this as a bowl. Um, and that's the difference between other holders. This really is designed so sturdy for a bowl. But I want to show you something else. It's for storing stuff while those are cooking. And as long as you don't hear an explosion, we're good. Or like bursts of fire. But yeah, how do those look? they're not done. No, not yet. What is it on? 350. Oh. Should I drop it on the second burner? Yeah, I think so. I think you're like broiling it. So they're gonna be nice and crunchy. But that's okay, I like crunchy stuff. Do you guys like burnt stuff? It's not burnt. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, God, that smells amazing. Okay, so another thing that the bag holder and gallon bags are good for is to store leftovers. So if you have cereals and things, yes, you can put them right in a bag, but why not for just like this? So I opened this this morning. Is the bag microwave safe? Yes, it's yes. in the microwave right now. I'm going to show you. So you, this is how much. This is a five-pound bag. We took out three cups to use for something today. So you can see. This is where I want to show you that as this fills, because it is holding the size, I am able to use this full bag, not just the top, not just covers. Watch this. I am making no mess. Knock on wood. Knock on metal. There we go. I don't want to squeeze it because it'll everywhere. But you can see that I just put five pounds of flour stored in here to use for future use, no bugs. I don't have flour and stuff. That to me, they, those aren't clean. That gets dust in it. Boom, done. So you store cereals and mixes and pastas. It's just giving you an extra set of hands. You just throw the bag on it and you're good to go. Will you pop that in the where all of our bacon is? Yep. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's wash our hands again. And I'm back. I do wish I had a little commercial break so that I could do things without boring you. All right, let's stir this. All right, put the lids on. Put the lid on this. Yes, we're done with the eggs. I want y'all to see how those muffins look. And, okay, so we're going to do, I brought a pork loin for tomorrow. So we talk about marinating meats. This is, again, perfect, easy. Oh, before I do that, let me show you. I want to show you because somebody commented, I made, a, I did a video, we did a video last night of us just making burgers in the bag holder. And I do it because I don't like touching raw meat. I don't like things under my nails, and it's just easier to me. So I put the meats and the cheeses, and I really didn't do anything grand. La Are you choking? No, I'm good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's like. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so I didn't do anything grand, and people commented about that. And I can do a bacon cheeseburger, yummy stuff, pork hobies, whatever you want. It's in the recipe book. But. It's how you do it, and I never once touched raw meat. It never went on my counters. It went from here to the grill, and that's it. And one dish, which was a spatula. So I just want to kind of show you that wasn't the only thing. If you are popping on, that wasn't the only thing. There's so you much more you can do. More uh, do a little more. So that was four minutes. We're going to do a little bit. Well, the yeah, water was cold. Yeah, the water was cold. Actually, you can see. I'm, so I you can, can kind of see that it's steaming. It all to also the bag is good quality, but you got to have water. So you're basically boiling up under the bag. All right. So one of the other things that the bag holder is great for is to just pour leftovers. So when you have leftovers, big pots, the beauty of this that sets it apart from anything that may have clips or doesn't have sides is that this can hold, sit right on it. Do you want to hand me a big spoon so I can pretend to scoop stuff out? Okay. <laughs> pretend so if it's heavy or you're like when it's hot I just can't do it so I can sit my warm pot here a heavy filled with pasta sauce or or whatever it happens to be leftover soups you're just able to do it 
scoop it out, put it away, and now you're able to store. The beauty of storing in bags, and again, I'm not selling bags, I should be, but the storing in bags versus containers is that this takes a fraction of the space in your freezer and your fridge. So I'm just trying to convince people that using bags is a lot better and a lot easier and a lot cleaner than bowls. Now, no one's ever gonna get rid of bowls. I can tell that that's done, because I can smell it. So let me take this out. Sorry, guys. And we are going to, whoops. Babe, can you move that? This? Yeah. yeah. Woo! Yum. All right, let's put these in here. The cake's got a little more time, I think. The cake is, needs more time. These are done. So let's take the cake out of here. It definitely needs yeah. more time. Want me to get it? Yeah. Would you? Cause I got it. Let me get it. Yeah. Do that. Here, so it. let's put it over there. Just scoot it on that side. Okay. So, but these are done. Here, I'll take this. Can I touch this? I'll get it. No, no, no. Yeah. I got this. Those look so good. Okay. I don't, I have carpal tunnel in my wrist, probably from chopping stuff for so long. So sometimes if it's weird, which is why pouring leftovers was very difficult for me. All right, good. I'm in Florida. Where is everybody from? Do you mind commenting? I'm in Florida. I shop at Publix, so everything's always going to be Publix. Uh, but here we go. So these were made with a bag holder. Perfect, ready to go. Yummy, yummy. No dishes, no cleanup. That's it. And I will post a picture later of us enjoying them and eating them. I'm going to ice them a little bit. Yeah, I'm a chocolate icing kind of person. I can see people commenting on here, but their comments aren't coming up. Uh, oh, I don't have my phone. So, with me. I don't know. You have your phone right there. No, it's right here. Okay. So, let's do So, that's just another way to use Pennsylvania, Cincinnati, Ohio, Michigan. I'm from Wisconsin. I grew up in Wisconsin. Anybody from Wisconsin? My favorite state is Hawaii, but who's Dallas, isn't? Dallas, Texas. Dow I was just in Houston. <coughs> I was in Houston with my daughter going um, on a cruise. Wisconsin. <gasps> Sue Ann Combs. Hey. Sue Ann Combs is watching me. Yay. Sue Ann. Okay, so four and a half minutes, made these eggs. Oh, you want to put them in a bowl? I'll show you. So it boils, it's been in the uh, microwave four and a half minutes. You want to pour them in? I got them, give them to me. Okay. So I'm going to take it out. It does not stick. Don't get them on my computer. Here we go. I will pour out the warm water. It's clean and I'll put it back down here. Yeah. <laughs> Sue had one more way to watch me. I'm going to drive my, my friends crazy. So, okay. Chop them. He is chopping them up. I'm going to show, wait, don't chop, show them what it looks like when they come out. So this is what it looks like when they come out, just over, what is that called? Over easy? Yeah. Okay. So, okay, so the yolks are still there, but that's what he does. So he's gonna chop it up and put salt and pepper on it and probably eat it for lunch. All right, so let's do this. I've made croutons, I've made corn and black bean salsa, the chicken burrito mix, and what else did I do? Is that it? Yeah. Oh, eggs. All in, I don't know how long I've, I'm sweating guys, I'm so nervous. So, and if you're commenting, I can't, oh, wait, hello. I can see. Yes, they're poached, thank you. They're perfect, so that it was all done in the bag holder. So you're, if you're a camper, um, you have a microwave, you live in a small space, there you go. Um, and it's in the bag, thrown away. And there they are, ready to go. Yum, yum, are you gonna eat them? No, I had six eggs already. He's already, yeah, we already have this for you. Um, just got the number to gift or bet. Oh, good, you are fun and flip. Oh, thank you. Somebody, it is BPA free. So it is, um, the bags, I don't know if the bags are BPA free, but our holder is. Um, I was a young mom when I came up with this and that was really important to us. So, uh, what else? I'm trying to see comments. Oh, Did you buy icing? Yeah, of course. Chocolate icing. I didn't do vanilla. I'm a chocolate icing person. I'm looking at everybody's comments, Michigan and Y'all are so sweet. You can stay anytime because most of you, in fact, I see all of you are just really nice. And um, even if you don't buy it, as long as you don't criticize me for it, we can be friends because we don't all have to have the same opinion. That's just life. All right. So yes, this is already marinated. I get it. 
but I like to add it with, this was on sale this week. This was $7.69. Do you see how huge this is? I'm also a big, remember when coupons were all the rage? Well, so I'm a big, let's eat what's on sale this week. So, um, and that's why the black beans are on sale, buy one, get one free. The corn vegetables were on sale, buy one, get one free. And, and this we know is how, cheap. How, how expensive stuff yes, is. Yes, stuff is way too expensive right now. But, um, so bag holder, bag. I'm going to put this in here and then we're going to add some seasoning. So just, and that's the other part. Again, scissors, throw the trash away. I keep my trash can next to me anytime I'm doing a lot of cooking or baking. Put it in right here. Again, no mess, hands. Bag is not gonna fall down. I'm gonna utilize all of it. Let's throw that right there. And then we're going to do, oh, I put my garlic salt up. It's right behind you, not covered. Oh, it where, here? Yep, bottom, bottom, thank bottom. Thank you. Oh, thank you. So I'm gonna do a little garlic salt. You should and, put that on the croutons. Uh, no, because the Lowry season right. has it. But that's a good idea. Look, the Parmesan and garlic salt on those croutons would have been point. I get stuck on something and don't change. So you feel free to send me any recipe and I'll make it in the bag holder. Oh, that's a good idea. Send me recipes to make in the bag holder and I'll show you how they're made instead of using a bowl. Yeah, instead of just using mine. All right, so I'm just going to sprinkle a little of this and a little of that. This we're going to make in the air fryer tomorrow. So I like to have it marinate. And I'm gonna make stuffing. You can make stuffing in here, let it soak and moist and yummy, 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 using the bag and the bag holder. And then when you're ready, just pop it back on the bag holder and pour it into whatever you're gonna bake it in. So super simple. That's what this is a bag, a one and done. Babe, yeah. I don't, I'm gonna let them, I'm gonna let you look at my back kitchen, see if anything walks by the window. I'm gonna get the teriyaki sauce. And no, I didn't make it, but I do have a recipe on the books that says that uh, or shows you how to make it. But I'm just doing yeah, simple obvious. stuff. He's Amazing. icing them. There we go. Ooh, I know you wish you were here. This is really simple stuff. So let's put a little teriyaki. Can you tell we like the Asian flair? Sweet baby rays. Do you guys have sweet baby rays up there or over there or around there? So we're going to do this. Seal it up again, bag holder, key. It just makes hands-free meal mixing one and done. So take the air out, that is your biggest obstacle. Air and sealing using the, the uh, bags. There we go. Make sure it's coated nicely. You can do this with any marinades. I've got a really great Oriental or Asian um, marinade that's in the on the link for all the recipes. All right, so that's it. So now let's take all the air out. And it's so easy now to store it or freeze it just like that. Done. So that our meat is marinated for tomorrow. Ooh, there you go, guys. All done, no mess meals in minutes, finished. And again, it's not, we don't make the bags, we don't make an oven, but we create, we have created a holder that allows you to use bags instead of bowls so you have very little cleanup. And it really is therapeutic and relaxing to do that. Just trust me, go try it. What else can I make? I feel like, or are we done? Is that it? Are you, he's eating the eggs, his mouth is full. Show them that you really do eat them and that we don't throw them away like TV shows. <laughs> like pretend TV shows or oh, good TV I'll shows. Me, I'll so they're so good, they taste delicious and they were done just by adding um, water in the bottom of the bag. What else do I have? I can make like broccoli salad. Should I just come back later, prep yeah. some more stuff and do yeah. it? Oh wait, you guys want to see the croutons at that. Hold on. They're not ready let's yet. Let's see. They're not? I don't think so. They're not ready yet. So let's do this again. I basically they're keep, there. they're, they're almost there. I basically keep, because one of the things you'll say is I don't have room to store the uh, bag holder. I don't need one more thing in my kitchen and I get it. But, and these need to be cleaned. Oh, you, you got my phone okay. Yeah. Is but, this marinating? Yeah, it just goes in the fridge. Oh. But if you use your final placemat, this is a Christmas one, it was 99 cents. I use it. You can cut, it will not mess up your counters. It's easy cleanup and it does not store any of the germs or bacteria from whatever you're cooking. Obviously, this would normally be cleaned before I put it back. Just fold it up, sits in the bag holder like that. 
you can put your measuring cup right here. You're able to put your bag of bags right here and then your scissors. Those four things I keep in this and I keep it under my sink or for us, we have an island and I just sit it here. This is way less space than this. Let's just say even one. So let's just say you have a small space and you only have one bowl. Okay, this is still a lot less space. And if that's the case, utilize it. Utilize the height in your cabinets or kitchen or camping, RVs, all of that kind of stuff. But this is less space and you can see it allows you to use 100% of any gallon bag. Um, what else can I make? What else do I have that I could whip up? The sky's the limit. It is, but I don't have everything here. This went faster, was easier. I'm nervous, my heart's still racing, but it was easier and, than I expected. Oh, let me see comments. Yeah, see if someone wants to have a recipe they want us to try. Yes, it does. Baker bitch. Oh my God, I love that name. Woohoo. Um, it does. Bags take up way less space. Okay, so I'm going to read comments. So don't think I'm being rude, not looking at you. The way this rule is go. Oh gosh, no, you're not ready to go. We're not ready to go yet. We have too much. We have to get to know each other. Um, I'm reading. Hello, with the bag holder, the zipper. Oh, okay. We're, I need to go way down. Um, the cupcakes got her. Bye. Thank you so much. We'll be live again tomorrow. Okay, Sue Ann, I see you. Um, yes, the Sweet Baby Rays. We have so many flavors in there. Does the air sealing in it before you seal it? No, get rid of the air because it minimizes the space you're taking up. If you, uh, and this is for anything you make. Here's your bag. If I seal it with a bunch of air in it, it's gonna take up so much more space versus me getting everything out and taking up a lot less space. I pour cereal in here to, to store our cereal leftovers, crackers, chips, and those are just simple things, but it's freeing up my hands. Because for me personally, it's hard to pour cereal and hold the bag. And they're only $15, so it's inexpensive. They're made in the USA. Here, you want to do it? Oh, I'm just going to show it. So what, so what happens? Gonna do it. So Steve's going to... No, 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 no. No, 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 You got it. I am, but what I'm No, they want to see you. You're all I'm dressed trying. nice. I am dressed so nice. So Andy's all dressed nice. Here, show him that a man can do this. Yeah, but what I'm going to show you is... I'll see if I can find something to bake. No, but you look at cereals, like say the cereal box, right? Look it. Half the time oh, it's left bad. open. So what happens? Your cereal goes what? Bad. Bad. Yep. All right, let's check this out, Kara. And we don't have containers. Oh, huh? we can make a, we can make a. So, let's do that one. I can take this. Done. And that's gonna take up a lot less room in your cabinets. A lot less room. And just put the date on it. Put the date. And you listen, you can even put it back in the thing if you wanted to. Go up, take it out of there, fold it down. I have so many things no. I can make, but I feel like we should do it later. No, but it, and it stays fresh. That's it. And stays you can put fresh. the date of it. So if you're like me and you buy one, get one free, and somehow your kids open both, you don't know when it was, take it, pour it in, and then, oh, well, wait, they want to know how, we got to show them how they can use it then. So when you're ready to, to use it the next morning, you just and this is just the concept of the bags. Again, it's not the bag holder. The bag holder is just also, make it and easy. And you can also put it back in here. Well, no, we don't want it. But if you wanted to, you could. But when you're ready, you just pour it right into your bowl. That's it. Simple as can be. If you want to add more cereal to it, just pop this back on the holder and add anything else. Like my daughter mixes cereals all the time. Just add it, layer it, and use it. It stays fresh Super way simple. It stays fresh way longer than those. Um, I've never understood why they don't make resealable bags in cereal. That yeah. to me is just, that would have been genius. But I'm pretty sure it's because they want you to have it go stale, so you have to buy more. Um, don't you think? Like, why would you have not made some sort of sealable, like they do on Oreos? <laughs> he just went like, I'm genius. <laughs> 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 but it's true. We're moms. We're frugal. We don't have money. Why don't they have a sealable thing? Yes, you can have a chip clip. They still don't work because the edges don't get sealed. But anyway, okay, let's see if the croutons are done. Oh, I'll get them. Okay, he's gonna get them. I'm so nervous, but I really am hyper like this. I'm really sorry. 
if some of I drive, you could, he could have held the bag for just as quickly. Well, he probably could, but you know, um, we, that's why we have the bag holder. It makes it easier and nothing fell. Pins to close. Sorry. And um, yes, yeah, so Dawn, this probably isn't your cup of tea, but it's just one other way to get use of the bag holder. And are they good? No. Okay. So, but if you're on, please say hi. And people just keep popping on. I don't understand a lot of it. So hopefully this live, this was my first live showing the bag holder. Stuff it's my first there. time really stressing uh, the importance of the bag holder and how it's really an essential kitchen tool, or at least I think so. So if you had kind words, I'm grateful for you. If you didn't, I'm going to pray for you. And um, if uh, you want me to come back tomorrow, I would love for you to follow so we can get to know each other. And you can see I've made a couple videos in my profile. One was, oh, breakfast wraps, so good. Here. Apple cinnamon breakfast wraps. Oh, here they are. Oh, let's see the Parmesan style. Is about? whoever did the Parmesan recipe, mm -hmm. are you on here? Or the Parmesan flavoring idea, which is awesome. Oh my God. Okay, so this is them. So let's do this. So now we've got our yummy croutons. I mean, the only way to store them is bag, bag holder. Well, they wouldn't last that long because they're good. Well, no, they're, they are delicious. But That's hot, so we're going to let this sit here a second because I don't want to put it hot. You can cook in the microwave. It does do things, but the bags themselves, unless there's water on the bottom, it will just melt. You know, it's like putting a plastic bag on a stove. It'll be messes for days. And so if you are here, oh, she's here. Okay, so did you try the Parmesan one? I already ate them. You are trying to, let me try. Yeah, they're good. Oh my gosh. They're melting your mouth. Melt. I wish you could smell my breath. That's how good they are. This is delicious. Ah, oh, yummy, yummy. But I want you, what I want you to see the most important. Clothes pins on your cereal, I know. That's, that's a good. good idea. For, yeah, if you don't want to switch it, clothes pins. But you have to put a lot because when you roll it down, you're still getting air on those sides. Where'd the thing go? Someone says, remind you of your mom who passed. I love watching this live. Aw, thank you. Oh, is, do you mind if I ask how she passed away? That was so sweet. Especially because you loved your mom, and I, I absolutely love that. I just want to show you that these are all evenly coated just by mixing it in the bag holder. And you guys watched. It was like, what, less than a minute? Dude, those are so real. They are delicious. So they make great snacks for kids. If you're gluten-free, find gluten bread. Do the same thing. And um, they're delicious. Amazing. You can use them on your salads. Oh, you, you can, can do, use them on your you stuffing. Can do, you can do all kinds. Garlic ones, all kinds. Yeah, any of your recipes, send them over. I'm happy to make it and let's play with it. But the Parmesan is delicious. Now I'm going to go for the old ones that I'm used to making. So good. But that Parmesan is a great addition. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't think of that. I get stuck. It's like, do you guys keep making the same thing over and over? I'm not adventurous. Hence why after a few years, I put this away because I'm just like, ah, so I failed. So put those in there? Mm. Oh, there I'm going to scoop it. I don't need two hands to scoop it. I need to get that out there. But let's pop them in. Let's do it. This is just another way where you can store leftovers easily, just like that. Yeah, our croutons are great snacks. Mm, these are delicious. I never thought about it, and it's fresh bread, so they, and they won't last very many days. I just came across your ad in my FYP. You can cut off comments to your ad if you want to. I don't know how to do that. So is that important or not important? That way people, won't, I, get, that way people won't get discouraged by the negative comments. Oh, are there a lot of negative comments? No. Are people know. being mean to me? No. Thank you, though. I'll have to do it that. It only makes you stronger. No, no, because it, I, that's why I quit, because people were not nice. So, yeah, but what's great and about, I'm not quitting this time. Yeah, but what's great about this is. There you go. Easily, no hands, no mess, no clean up. And that is right here. So I made these. The only thing that took the time was that, and then you have a clean pan, because we put foil, and we're done. That's 
that's it. So, all right, that's it for today's live. I'm gonna read your comments. I wonder if I can actually read your comments because I know the live disappears. And, um, but thank you. I'm gonna look into that. I wish I could just put, uh, remove people's negative comments. I wanna be a bigger person, but there are some parts of me that just don't, I don't know. But um, you just have to be positive. That's all I know. I have to get over it. So I am going to go for the night. I may pop on tonight. Who knows? We might. Who knows? And uh, and but I thank you guys for showing up. People don't like it because there is no gimmick to it. Most people need more than one. Yeah. Sometimes the simple things are the best things. The bag holders behind you are way nicer than a trash can. So I'm assuming, I don't know if that's a complaint or not, probably. Um, yeah, but see, the bag holder's meant to hold up in the bag. Split this fit in first. So, I don't know. Um, I can't worry about it. All that matters in sales. <laughs> yeah, that, that is it. So, wonderful. I appreciate you guys. Please follow so we can connect tomorrow. And um, Or maybe later. Maybe later, yeah. If you have any questions, send me a message. Cut off I'm the ability to comment. I know, but then I would miss the good comments, and that's what keeps me going. And I would miss people that, uh, like, are from Wisconsin or where you're from. I do like to talk to people. That's what I absolutely love. I just wish I could do it privately. Uh, I wish I could have a private link. If you like me, comment. But that's not life, so... I'm reading your comments now that I'm sitting close. Just order two. Really? Yeah. Thank you. I don't even know if I've sold any. Oh. So we had a hundred to do today and that's it. So I hope if you bought it, I know you'll love it. It'll ship out tomorrow. It ships from Florida. It's made in the, um, right here in Florida, in the U.S. by another family business. And I appreciate you. Right now we only have blue. If it goes well, then we'll make another mold. So really you only, there's only a hundred of you that can get it right now. So I hope it sells so we can keep going and we'll still keep making and creating stuff. But can do it sub only chat. Oh, subscriber. You guys are good at this. You can get subscriptions, but don't you have to pay for that? I don't want people to pay for stuff. I mean, I like the idea because I have a kid going to private college that wasn't covered under the prepaid plan. I mean, all schools really. But um, he wants to go into international business. So, oh, somebody said they like the video. Oh, I feel so good. I'm going to cry. So, but all right. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. I appreciate the ones that don't like me because I always learn. And the ones that do like me, we will be lifelong friends. So I'm going to see you tomorrow, but I'm not quite sure how to turn this off. So <laughs> You might have to stay on forever. Where, oh, where is my turn off button? Am oh, I and I like to sing. Am I allowed to eat a cupcake? Yeah. Is it? Okay, I think I've got it. And I will see you tomorrow or maybe tonight. See you soon. Bye-bye. Oh, in now.